In Judges 14, we read about the character, some of the choices, and the attitude of one of the most well-known characters from the book of Judges. We're learning about Samson. See, Samson is often remembered for his hair, for his strength, for his weakness with women, and often as an example of someone whose giftedness and potential for greatness is squandered because of his own selfish pursuits. In chapter 14, we read about Samson's lack of respect for his parents, his godly heritage, the Nazarite vow upon his life, and even his inability to control his tongue and his temper. And it seems strange that God would use a guy like Samson. And as we continue to read about him, we'll continue to learn that he really does not seem to be concerned about following God, nor doing what God wants him to do. But God uses him to deliver the Israelites from the hands of the Philistines. And there's a lesson in this for us. See, God is going to accomplish his plan. You see, our inabilities do not thwart his ultimate ability to do what he wants. But sadly, Samson suffers consequences for his sin over and over and over and again. It would have been so much better for Samson to obey God and lead his people as he was called to, but he didn't. For us, for you, for me, if we would follow God's plan and live as people filled with the Holy Spirit, God will accomplish his plans, but also we will experience a much better life with him as we trust him and obey him.